Hey, welcome back guys. I thought as a treat to all of you, I would let you see an unboxing. What I have in uh, this bag here is a uh, Funtime Foxy plush. So uh, I have not opened this bag yet. You're going to get to see it opened. And let's see what we have inside. We have a packing slip. Okay, you don't need to see that. And here we go. Here is, oh my gosh. He is... He is adorable, but this is the Funtime Foxy. You can see it's from the Five Nights at Freddy's. This is uh, Funko, okay, and these are available at, uh, I believe people are starting to find them in Target and other stores, and you can see he's, you know, he's absolutely adorable, and um, I'm going to go into a little mini review now. You can see uh, Funtime Foxy has the uh, dots on the muzzle to indicate the, uh, you know, where whiskers would be. And he has the nice black nose made out of plastic so he looks like an animatronic. And he has a cute little tongue sticking out which is utterly adorable. Um, really nice detail here in the eyes. They are, you know, they are round. They're kind of like, you know, pretty firm. Um, there is uh, embroidery in the eyes. The eyes are yellow with uh, black and white detailing. Uh, eyelashes. Pink here. Embroidery here as well. Embroidery in the ears. Um, gray on the paws. And here as well. Embroidery here as well on the little cheek detail, which is absolutely adorable. It's done in pink. This is actually a lighter pink in color than it looks online, except for the belly. The belly is that um, deeper pink, it looks like online. But most of the uh, pink on here is actually a really nice, um, I'm going to say like a peppermint candy color. If you get those like um, peppermint or wintergreen mints, it's a kind of color. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned the stitching up here in the ears as well. Uh, really nice fabric to these toys. Really nice detailing of the little fur, you know, sticking up at the top. Um, like the other Foxy toys. We'll see. Okay, that was just there. There is um, no tail. But, you know, uh, nice, nice detailing on this toy. Absolutely adorable. And, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And to compare him to... The other Foxy that I got this one at Walmart, I got this one online on Amazon. Uh, you can see the same kind of gold, yellowish gold eye, but the eye patch, obviously the sort of beautiful cherry, it reminds me between um, like a cherry pop that you get in the summer, you know, like a cherry ice pop. And like a, almost like a Kool-Aid red. So, it, you know, beautiful color on him. Let's put him aside. And this is, you know, the Pirate Foxy. So he has the eye patch. There is no eye underneath this eye patch. A lot of people have been asking. Um, plastic nose again. But instead of the tongue, you have the teeth. You do have the same detailing of these little here and they feel embroidered on so that you know that's a nice detail have the paws and the belly in a contrasting fabric to the body which is a nice detail uh contrasting fabric up here on the uh, upper part of the muzzle and uh, again in the detailing it's really nice it's different kind of gold fabric here and the um stitching is like again the like embroidery stitch here around the uh, inner ear, uh, you know, eyebrows, a little fur. Uh, again, no tail on these, and you know that's pretty standard to the game. If you've seen them in um, Five Nights at Freddy's Four, or you've seen them in, um, I believe it was in two or three in the prize corner. They, you know, they were like uh, giveaway prizes, or I'm not going to spoil four for you if you haven't seen it. They they do appear in that game, but I'm not going to spoil how. <laughs> okay, and here we have um, Bonnie. Excuse me. And Bonnie has like the same high level of detail, which, you know, it's really amazing on these. 
that, the, you know, this game is less than two years old, and yet we have the embroidery for the eyes, and they have the embroidery details in the ears, and this is like a super soft, you know, fabric. It's a sculpted toy. It's um, a more firm toy. And uh, you have details on Bonnie, of course, like his uh, bow tie, nice red bow tie. This is, it feels, it's stitched on, and uh, the, you know, the nose is pretty firmly attached. The tags do say 14 and up, but then they also say to remove this tag before you give to a child. But, you know, they're so cute and adorable that if a young child did not know the game, you could put these in, uh, like, an Easter basket, and, you know, any child would be delighted with them. So, you know, it's up to you. And obviously, collectors or fans of the game are going to love them. Bonnie is currently the only one with a little detail back here. It has a little fluffy tail, which is absolutely adorable. Same kind of, you know, bottom on all of them. And he has the same kind of contrasting uh, fabric on the belly and the upper muzzle. And the paws, which is a really nice detail because they didn't have to go to that much trouble on these toys. And, of course, Freddy. And Freddy has the details such as his top hat. And the contrasting fabric in the ears. Again, the embroidery around the ear fabric, which is really nice. Embroidered eyes. These are in blue. Uh, he also has the dots on his muzzle, which are really nice. The eyebrows. The uh, nice plastic nose. Again, I really love that detail because it reminds you of the animatronics from the game, which these dolls are supposed to. Uh, he has his bow tie, of course, and his contrasting is really nice. It, you know, it reminds you of the animatronic from the game. They all have really nice contrasting, but I think they did the best job on him. Again, you know, uh, the same kind of back on this as with the other toys, but really, really nicely done. Uh, these are retailing for around 9 to $10. Um, I think up to 12 depending where you get them. So, you know, um, really good deal for around that price range. Okay, and we have Chica last. And she is, you know, absolutely adorable. She looks really angry, I think, because she doesn't have her cupcake. But again, in a toy version, that totally makes sense because if, you know, if you would go to the prize corner in the game, they probably would be a more simple toy and they would not have the cupcake that she carries in the game. So let's get back to her review. She does have the adorable bib and this is this is pretty pretty well made. It has the let's see and it has the uh, sprinkles on it. It feels like it's um applique I'm thinking. I'm not entirely sure. And she has the contrasting uh fabric of the orange to her bright yellow. Uh, she does not have it on the um, hands as the others do. She has just the um, yellow fabric, but she's, you know, she's still adorable. She has, you know, her beak and she has the um, embroidery on her eyes. She has the rather angry looking eyebrows and this top de detailing. Some people puff it out more. I've left it flat. Um, she is flat, you know, behind like most of them are. And, you know, the same flat bottom. I think these toys are really adorable. And I think for the um, retail price, they are a really good deal. Um, there are sites out there that are selling three to four times retail. To me, you know, if it's like going to be a once in a lifetime gift. And it is something you need to complete a collection. I think it is worth it, but you know, um, that is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice, that is entirely up to you. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the review, and I hope you have fun working on your own collections. And if you want to see any of these toys in depth, or you have any questions, you know, please feel free to say in the comments below. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.